Welcome back to Let's Play NHL 15, be a GM, Colorado Avalanche, season 2020-2013. So let's into the draft and go to the draft. Whew. Start draft. Okay. So where are we picking? Pretty late, I suspect. 22nd, okay. Now I'm very interested in that guy from Buffalo. Drury. Got a huge salary, that's good. Let me see if I can't make a nice little trade here. I just picked up this Jocelyn guy, but you know, he's not really doing it for me. How much is he making? Probably about the same. Eh, not quite the same. And who? Tyratty. And then I could use like a another right winger for now. Although I do have that rookie guy. Chris Stewart, how much is he making? A lot. Wow. What about Hoyle? He's not making a lot. But he's not really that great. Any good rookies? <laughs> Solace? Yeah. Ovechkin? I could get a different Ovechkin back. Let's see if I can get like a pick or something. And maybe trade first. Something like that, let's see. Might have to add a little something else. Oh, no I don't. Okay, cool. Now let me see if I can make a trade for another right wing since I just depleted my stock of right wingers. Let me see. So I have that guy in Greffy. Greffy might be able to play in the top six. Okay, let me just check other teams. Right wing out. Smith Pelly. He's making a lot. Although I do, th I think I have some good, like right winger or left winger. Sorry. Lamoureux. Looking for someone with not a lot of trade value and who's like maybe mid 80s. Ty Ratty? No. I just got rid of him. And that other guy, Jocelyn. He wasn't really putting up the points, so. Uh, no. Bjork's Strand. Calgary, can I rip them off for somebody? Griffith. Oh, they have that mare guy. Wait, that's a different mare guy, I think. Yeah, I don't want much salary coming back. Oh, a bid. How's he doing? We definitely go for this guy. Top nine forward. How did he do in the season? Not bad. Andrew Shaw, Patrick Kane. Let's see Dallas, B. Ritchie, and B. Nichushkin. Brett Ritchie, bottom six forward, but his stats are, I don't know. Full career stats. 
61 points, that's really not bad. He's not making that much money either. You see, contract's up though. Hmm. But I don't want to give up too much for like an over the hill type player. B. Shovel Day. Maybe I can try this guy out and see how he turns out. For my first... That looks almost even. Maybe I can offer them like a couple of ports. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, they have first. Oh, no, wait, that's my pick. Never mind. I have some high turnaround in my wings, but that's okay. Let's see, let's make our first pick here. See if we have any potential guys. Um, no. Left wing. Top nine sniper, third, fourth round. I could pick him up next time. Uh, he doesn't look too bad, but he's 20, I guess, so. Might be a little bit. Fifth round, top nine forward, Junlan. Defense. Defense. Uh, uh. Hmm. This might be the way to go. Defense. Oh. Hoofle. They're all seventh D, so I mean, doesn't really matter. He's got decent defensive awareness and things like that. So, well, let's try him. Let's try Hoofle. Okay. Uh, sim to my next pick. I should just like trade all of my all of my picks for guys who actually have been drafted and have some value. Was I looking here or was it left wings? Top nine forward, third round. Pokolok. Nah, he doesn't look great. Is it left wingers? Aston. Yeah, this guy doesn't look bad. What about right wings? Is that other guy still there? Junland. Maybe I'll pick him up with my fourth. Well, I don't have any fourths. Maybe I'll try to pick him up with my fifth. Cochrane. What about goalies? I don't think there's really anybody there. Some third, but yeah. Why bother? I can pick up some good guys in free agency. Uh, so left wing, I think. Yeah, let's try Aston here. And let's sim to our next pick. Hmm, I wonder... I probably won't be able to pick up that guy then. He's probably gone. Right wing... Yeah, he's gone. Uh, so let's try... Let's see if there's any good-looking defense in again. Oh, Cochrane. Seven. Projects to be a seven, but actually his stats aren't too bad. It looks like. Let's take Cochrane here. Okay, so let's sim to our next pick. And let's make a pick. Potential top six AHL forward. I think that's about the best I'm going to be able to do the rest of the way. Yeah. What about defense? Top 4 HL defense. What about goalies? D. Takashi. Don't know anything about him. So let's 
So I guess let's go with one of these guys. Uh, La Takainen. Let's see him. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Sim to user pick. Give me my seven. Damn coyotes. Camper? Uh, I already picked the center last time, so... Everybody is projected to be undrafted, it looks like. Top six HLD, why not? Brust. Okay, so let's end the draft here. Advance. I think our off-season should be quicker than last time. We don't have many players to resign, although next year we will. Uh, so I'm gonna have to think about that, but we have loads of cap space now. For now, we do actually. <laughs> 26 mil. Do we have to resign McDavid? I think we do. Okay, uh, RFA first. Yes, we do have to resign McDavid. How much is he looking for? 10.6. That's not bad. That's not really that much more than he's made. That's actually down in salary, I think. I think he's making 9.5, and if we go by the 8.5 rule, he'll be under 9. So let me just get my calculator ready, and let me see. 8 years, kind of expensive. Holy cow. Okay, the difference between 5 and 6 is very, very marginal, so I'm going to go with 6. 10.75 times 0.85 equals 9.13, so 9.15. So we're saving about $400,000. Hooray! We have Connor McDavid locked up for 6 more years. Nice! Okay, who else? Bure. Oh, he's not bad. He's probably going to play in our lineup, so... Let's give him a couple years. See how he does. It's a good way to fill up our bottom six. With just like $1 million contracts. So 1.25 should do it. Okay, Reeves. He's really not going to amount to much, so let's get rid of him. Oh, I should have just traded him for some crappy player. Whatever. Winquist. Yeah, I'll release him. Luis Amante. What's his name? Lawrence Amante. Okay. He can go away. Bonavi. Where did this guy come from? I have no idea. Okay, let's see. Salary demands actually go down three years. That's weird. And they go up quite a bit. So I'll take him for three. So 3.3 3 times 0.85 equals 2.805. 2.825 is what it will be. That's a good deal. Eckford. Yeah, definitely use him. How much does he want? 2.8. That's pretty good. Wow, he's gonna... It looks like he's gonna become a good player. He's gonna be demanding a lot of money. So let's go 2.8 for now. Who, who knows, he could regress. So I don't want to risk that. So 2.4, I guess, for two years. Eckford. Okay, Georges, uh, he might turn out to be a serviceable depth defenseman. So let's get him for uh, three years, why not? A million. 
B. Huskins. He's not going to really turn into anything, so... Okay, I'm at 34 contracts now. D. Lots. He could turn out to be okay, so let's just get him under our wings for three more years. Uh, two more years. We can't really offer him a million, although I guess the .85 rule is still... I don't know if it still applies or not. Monroe, okay. Let's offer him a contract. Um, three years, you know, it's not that huge of a difference. Probably come out to about 1.3 or so anyways. 1.38, so. 1.4 is fine. Guy who's serviceable in our bottom six, which is great. Okay, Moen and Hatcher. These guys are kind of useless, so we'll get rid of them. And UFAs. I have a lot. Holy cow. Okay. So let's start with Bleakly here. How much does he want? 2.975. He's not going to improve that much, but for a third liner, it's not a bad deal, really. So 3.0, 3.075 times 0 0.85, 2.61, 2.65, there we go. Okay, Ackerstrom release. Davidson, yeah, let's give him a contract, his like, entry level. Sure thing, buddy. Bennett. Let's give him his entry level. I think he was our first round pick one year, wasn't he? First round, 20. What about this guy? He was like a third rounder, wasn't he? Yeah, he's turning out pretty good for a third rounder, at least. Uh, Yasu, how much does he want? Holy cow! Really doesn't seem worth it. <whistles> okay. I might trade him. I might trade him later. 4.82. I guess that's not horrible for a sec second pairing D. 4.825. Anyone else? Brown. Uh, how much is he looking for? Three years, 1.975. Okay, well, I'll give him that. He's a really good depth player, so I want him around. Although he's 32, he's going to start declining soon, I think. 1.7 mil. Okay, so I'm at 41 contracts now. Let's get Griffey. How much does he want? 2.25, not bad. I could just sign him for 8 years and... Yeah, why not? 2.825 times 0.85 equals 2.4 million. 2.402. 2.425. Why not? De Keev. Let's offer him a contract, I guess. Two way, three years maximum for two way. And then these guys, I don't really need them. Release. Release. And... Oh, let's offer this guy a contract then. Oh no, he's a bottom six potential, so who cares. And let's go to goalies. I don't think I have any goalies up for contracts. I could though. No UFA, what about RFA? No RFA, okay, so let's just check out 
our goaltender situation is looking. Okay, Rawlings is going to be demanding a lot of money next time. Hawkinen is good for a while. Uh, Whitney and McQuaid. I'll have to see what McQuaid wants. I might have to get rid of him. I'll just use Rawlings and Cockinen. Um, let's go... Let me look at my defense. Sort by overall. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't think I really need Yasu that much. And I've got some decent prospects coming up in Huberdo and Konachev. So I could trade him for another prospect, I guess. But for now, let's just sim up a day. We should have all our contracts done. Then stay. Come on. <laughs> do 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 do. Accepted, 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 accepted. Okay, nobody reject. Yay, McDavid accepted to a pay decrease. Haha. <laughs> I pat myself on the back for that one. Hi, Mr. GM, uh, Mr. BM. I kind of like a uh, pay increase. I mean, I've been in top five in scoring for the last several years. No! You get a $400,000 pay cut. Take it and be happy. Yes, sir. Well, I guess he did get his original contract in Vancouver. And, you know, it's, I think it's a little bit more expensive to live in Vancouver than it is to live in Denver. Although, he doesn't necessarily have to live in Denver. But seeing as he's going to be... That's going to be his home city for, you know, at least seven, eight, nine months of the year... Might as well buy a house, especially if you're making nine million dollars a year. Oh, I should have checked my cap situation, but I can do that in resign phase. Yeah, so I think for my defense, I'm just gonna maybe stick with like the top pairing McCabe and that other guy I got from Florida a while ago and then just try to get mid 80s guys to fill out the bottom four and then maybe try to have two really good top two lines and then just fill out the bottom nine with hopefully guys making less than two million dollars. Oh I have to check out rookies too don't I? Okay let's Take a look at rookies, see if there's anyone I could try to trade for. I want to see how much value... what's his face has? Yasu. Doesn't look like much. Yasu. Well, that could pick up a nice prospect, I guess. About the same as Brayson Martin. Billy Martin. I need to keep Billy Martin. I don't know why. Or should I trade Billy Martin? That might be smarter. They're both... He has... M wait. Mart... They're both the same value. Yasu could get better. Yeah. <laughs> Martin's already reached his potential, so... And Anaheim wants him, so... And Phil Forsberg has a lot of trade value, but I don't care. Go rookie skaters and see anybody interesting. Not really. Kravchenko. Kravchenko. Fleischmann, Lamoureux. Not a bad pick for their first overall, I guess. 
Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I guess, uh, what's his face? Retired. Whoa. Pyatt. How come his trade value sucks? He looks like a pretty damn good shooter. He's 21. Is he under contract? Two years left. What about this brophy fella? He's also a sniper. Where was he drafted? First round, 2023. Okay. Well, that's not a bad pickup. What about Pyatt? Last year. That's not bad. Let me see. Do they have... I think Ovechkin probably retired then. Yeah, he did. That's where all that salary went. That's interesting, but... Well, I'm trading defensemen, so I'd like to get another D in return. Maybe not someone who's... Because that guy Boston has is going to be... Gonna be demanding a ton of money. Now it looks like Eberle's stock is dropping. He used to be like huge on trade value, I think. Not really many top four D anymore. Where's that other defenseman guy? Maybe he's not a rookie anymore. Probably played him last year. F. Witt. Oh, this guy must have been like fourth overall, yeah. That's why he has a lot of trade value. Don't want to mess with fourth overall pick. Detroit. Von Vig. Edmonton. Ledeen. He was drafted last year. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Ellington. This guy's developing pretty well. He's a playmaker. Not a bad player, it looks like. Okay, can't really make a trade with Florida. And Medved. Can't make a trade with LA. Harvey. Is this guy taking like second overall last year though? His trade value went down quite a bit. Minnesota. Wow. They got a lot of good rookies coming up. Must steal their rookies! No. Montreal wants to get rid of a lot of their rookies. I don't know why. Not their defensive ones. That Erickson guy looks not bad. Not a bad replacement. Or Banks. Hmm. They don't want B. Martin anyways. Yeah, value's a little bit more. I'd probably... If I wanted to get that guy, I'd probably need to add a second or something. Hodgson. This guy's not bad. Ken Hodgson. Defensive defenseman. Wait, they had another guy who looked pretty good. 74 overall, though. It's kind of low. Probably not going to develop, but... Could be worth the risk. Now uh, these guys are too young, maybe. New York Rangers. Nah. Ottawa, they have too much salary. You're not going to be able to trade your rookies unless you guys give up some salary, you know. Prayer. Oh, payer. Hmm. Pittsburgh. Benin. Let's pick this guy. Second round. Wow. That's a good pick. They have some good defensive prospects, I guess. San Jose. 
wow, they have a lot of salary coming out. St. Louis, they have huge salary, wow. Tampa, huge salary too. Toronto, they rid themselves of a lot of salary. Okay, Vancouver, can't trade with them. Winnipeg, can't trade with them. Kolars. Washington. Joey Bass. Oh, Jim Bass. Hmm. Nicole Bass. If he's anything like Nicole Bass, he's going to be a scary player. Just check out goalie prospects for whatever reason. Maybe there was a spectacular goalie coming out of the draft. No, Carolina had the first pick. Calgary, New Chicago, Dolak. Okay, so what was that team? I think it was like Minnesota or something. After Florida, Klingberg. After LA. Boschman. Yeah, so far no franchise goalies. That's surprising. Usually you find a few franchise goalies. But at least once in ten years there should be one. Belfour. Wow, he's getting good. He's still a rookie, though? What's What the hell is St. Louis doing? Okay. What about this cross guy? Did he just, like, shoot up or something? Hmm. How much is Belfour making? Holy cow! What was it? What were his stats last year? But he didn't play last year, did he? No, he didn't. Why? Why are they keeping him out of the NHL? Whew. How much value does my goalie have? Rawlings. He just won the Vesna, damn it. Uh, no. Whoops. So I have 7 million cap space right now. I don't care, my goalie's good enough. Is it New Jersey? Wow, they have a lot of good goalies too. Oh, they have Tierney. <laughs> uh, rookie skaters. That wasn't Jersey. That wasn't Montreal. Is it Mini? Can I just look up rookie defenseman? <laughs> Nashville, yeah, this Bartikek. Oh, they want B. Martin. Good. So maybe I can get something out of them too. Something else. Hmm. Is 
isn't gonna work, is it? Next year's third? No. Not Bon V. Hufol? No. Burre? No. Monroe? No. They want lots. Oh, that cook guy might turn out. McCarthy and Claxon. K. Harrison. What if I did this? Yeah, I don't think so. You know, I don't even want there first. What am I doing? Let me check out their rookies again. Maybe I can just take like a cheap other guy. Like Giordano. I like the sound of that guy. Alright, cool. Sounds good to me. And let's check out free agents. Who's our top free agents this year? It's probably going to be some really pathetic crop of players. Come on, hurry up. David Perron. Jonathan Taves. Interesting. Nobody wants him. I have 9 million in cap space. I could sign him. This does like an experiment. How are his stats? Kind of going down. He only hit 70 points twice. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Don't really need him. Can eat Agostino. Okay, let's sort by potential then. Soon all these old timers are will start retiring. Like Jonathan Taves. Ooh, Klein. UFA. Oh. Wow. I could have just offered this guy a contract. Hopefully I can get him. Oh, Lottie. That's that guy. Well, Lottie Da. What about Fedorov here? Vladimir Fedorov. Sure. Oops. Ah. Oh, I can only offer him three. Okay. S. Elliot. Eh, why not? See any other forwards or anything? Mink. Twenty-one seventy-five overall. That's not horrible. How many contract spaces do I have though? 
You know what, I'm gonna pass up on him for now and go to go leads. I'm sure he'll be there later. Ooh, nothing good here. Yuck. Kizilev? Hmm. Let's see him. He's probably low. Oh, medium. 76 overall for a 21 year old. It's not horrible. Okay, let's go with that for now. Well, I can see here how many contracts I have. 43, so yeah, that should be good. Let me try to sign that guy then. Since there's no goalies. 43, wait, how many have I offered? I think like three or four. I don't want to go too close to the contract limit. Three, okay. Three's fine. Sort! Thank you. Okay, where was that other guy? Mink. Yes. Come to the avalanche. Okay. I don't know if we'll get that defenseman guy, but if we can, that'll be good. If not, it's not a huge deal. So I'm good with my team for now. Let's go to October. October 3rd. Fedorov. Okay, good. Mink, good. Elliot, good. Yeah, I got him! Jorg Klein. It was bordering on being too low financially. Well, screw you. You can't. I can't give you more money than that. That was the maximum. Sorry, dude. All right, I just picked up a rockin' prospect for free. Huh. Who the hell didn't sign him? Are they stupid? Vivieros and Patrick for Boleski. No thank you. Cochran, Patrick for Boleski. No thank you. I am the master negotiator. I negotiate with all my players. Come on, I don't need stupid trades. Give in to me. Okay. Are we there yet? Next day, everything will change. So then I can check out how our players grew over the long off season. Not so long. I mean, we made it to the conference finals, lost in seven. After we had like a 3 1 lead or something. Okay, let's check out how we will look through this year and next year. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good first line. Shovel Dave? Who the hell is that? Who the hell is Shovel Dave? Okay, where the hell did I get him from? Uh, yeah, okay. 
defense. Let's see. Yasu, Bon, bon Beep grew a lot. Wow. He was like 82 when I started. Okay, and let's see our goalies. I bet that stupid guy's back there. Kakanen! McQuaid? No! No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong, game. Got it all wrong. Well, let's see our captains and things. Still the same, okay. Uh, progress reports. Yasu went from an 82 to an 84. McDavid, oh, McKinnon's back to a 91. Ugh. In the system, let's see. What about that other guy, Sudendukov? Yeah, he's gonna be pretty good soon. Cassian, who's this guy? Wow! Where did I pick him up from? Oh, I can't tell from here, I guess, can I? A couple more 80s, Matt Vichuk and McCarthy. Davidson. Whitney. Oh, he's a goalie. Huberdo's getting better. He's a seventh defenseman now? He used to be like elite. Huh, I wonder why he went down so much. Maybe because I'm not playing him. What about my goalies? Why is not Rawlings in NHL? Okay. In the system. Let's go goalies. No, no, no. Goalies. Rawlings. Yes. NHL. Kakanen. Get out of here. Okay. Defense, I think we're good. Yeah. Shovel Dave, what? Where did he come from? Okay, cool. Looks good. Best lines, thank you. Okay, and then let me go to my contracts and see what is happening at the end of this season. Okay. Jake McCabe is up for UFA, and so is... Ooh! Shovel Dave, McCabe, and Griffith. Okay. So that's probably going to eat up a lot of the cap space. Yes, it will. Because Shovel Dave is going to get a major increase, I'm guessing. I'll have to see how he does. Um, let's go in the system and see what we have expiring here. No, no. Sudjukov. Well, he's probably going to want a lot of money. Huberdo, maybe not. This guy, maybe not. Fourth, no, none of these guys. Part, Partek, no. Baumgartner. Huh, might be tight. I know my goalie's gonna want, he's gonna um, be up for contract. Oh, not, wait. Yeah, Rawlings is going to be up for a contract. I'm probably going to have to trim salary. Somewhere. Okay. Let me see my left wing. How much? Korolev and Lavalier. 
I might, I'll probably trade one of those guys. Right wings. My right wings look fine. Shovel Dave is gonna get a huge amount of money. Centers. Hmm, McKinnon might be too expensive. I might be able to replace him with this Cassian guy here. We'll have to see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to trade one of these guys. And maybe a defenseman too. Like Yasu, I might have to just get rid of him at the end of the season. At the draft. Let me see my left wings. Does anyone expire? No, no one expires. Lavalie's coming up for UFA. So's Corlin. Who has the better stats? La Lavalie or Kovalev? He's pretty good. What about Lavalie? Lavalie looks better and younger too. So I might trade Korolev. And then I'll have that other guy come up. So they're going to be wanting a lot of money. <laughs> well, enough of that. Let's just start our season here. I know my goalie's going to want tons of money. I actually have an idea. I have a very good idea. I'll do it now. They don't really want to do that, so let me give them a reason to make this trade. They don't want my first. Do they want defense? They want Yasu. Can they afford him? They could. third, so let's try that. I really question whether you did 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 did. Shut up. Nice! Okay. That should solve some problems for now. Okay. That'll solve my goaltending issues. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, 
Oh yeah, my defense. Who do they bring up? Bon V, Cla yeah, that's fine. I don't care. So I don't want to be going into my contracts not knowing how much money my goalie's gonna want and leave me screwed. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's just sign some backup. Oh wait, can I do it in time though? Maybe I can sign that one guy if he's still there. Oh wait, goalies. It looks like he's gone, maybe. Kizilev, no, he's not. Let's, let's offer him a contract. Okay. So, second time I've traded a Fresno winning goaltender. Awesome. For Belfour. Gotta have good mojo with that kind of goaltender name. Okay, where's the trade deadline? All the way in March. Yay! Gizalev. Okay. And then I'll probably trade one of those left wingers at the draft for something. Whoa! Big loss there. Maybe it's because I lost Yasu. <laughs> Yasu! Okay, we beat Anaheim. Lost to Vancouver. Not starting out as well as previous years, but we'll pick it up. I know we will. Maybe it's Orlando... What's that guy's name? Whatever his name is. It's not fitting on the team well. Winnipeg. Well, it is uh, Belfour's first year in the NHL. He's probably got some jitters early on. Alright. The defense isn't great, but at least we've been scoring when we're winning. Wow, Columbus sucks. Nice. Toronto. Good year for rookies. Yay. Good thing I have two first picks. Although I'll probably just end up trading them at the draft again. <laughs> yeah, 7-4. Our goals against average sucks, but scoring is not a problem. Alright, shutout. Is that Belfour? Is that our goalie's name? Belfour? S. Belfour? Son of Belfour. <laughs> That'd be great if that was actually his name. If his first name was Son of. Son of Belfour. That's what I'm gonna call him from now on. Son of Belfour. Wow, what happened to the Islanders? 
They were in the conference finals a couple of years ago. All right, we started 1-2-0, and and now we are 8-2-0. That's good. And we have Buffalo and St. Louis coming up, so we can see how our draft picks are going, going so far this early season at its scouting assignment. OHL for three weeks. Okay, hurry up. All right, beat Winnipeg. Capitals. Beat the Capitals, nice. And Tampa. Nice. It was a pretty good month so far. But it... Man, it's slow. Hurry up! Ottawa. Oh, Revenge for beating them in the finals a few years ago, I guess. Let's see. Columbus. Win, nice. And Winnipeg. Nice. Oh shoot, I forgot to check St. Louis's record, but it just went by so fast that huh. oh well. Wow, the Islanders suck. Good thing we beat them. What about Florida game? Florida sucks. I thought they had a whole bunch of good prospects coming up. Maybe not. All right, Chicago, big win. Okay, um, now go to Quebec. Have some poutine. See all the Bonum Carnival. Well, I guess they don't do that in November. Oh, I guess the QMJHL is also in the Atlantic. Go have some crabs and lobster and stuff like that. Okay, Buffalo. Woo, they're doing really well. That sucks. Millie Vanilli waiver claim. No thanks. How old is he? I don't care. <laughs> making it through waivers all the way to us so I don't think we really care. This time at the trade deadline I'm gonna remember to check out the trades that have happened. I always forget to do that or just simply neglect to. Yeah beat Buffalo! Alright we had a really shaky start to the season but man we've been on fire lately. Been on fire. How are the sharks doing? Not so well. They don't have a lot of salary in their team. I think they're rebuilding. But when they do, I will steal all of their good prospects. Ha ha ha. Alright. Did we beat Minnesota? Yes, we did. 3-0. Oh, two shut shutouts in a row. Nice. 
Yeah, our defense is picking it up again. Maybe someone was injured at the start of the season. Who knows? Okay, USA. Go travel the entire United States. Although it's probably just mostly the North. Actually, go down to Texas too. See if you can find some good young Texans playing hockey. And another thing that would be great about GM mode, if it was more like Madden owner mode, and if you could like relocate franchises, or it would be nice if there was like a one in something, I don't know, just a small chance that a new franchise could pop up. Whoa, that's a huge loss to Minnesota. But yeah, especially like those earlier Maddens and not earlier, but, you know, like, 2005 or so, when you had, like, a thousand, not a thousand, but, like, hundreds of cities you could relocate your team to. Like, you could relocate them to Boise, Idaho, or something like that. That would be cool. And then, like, you could design their colors and things like that, their uniforms. Maybe just pick some pre-designed logo. Well, I guess you could do that kind of in NHL 14 or on the Xbox 360 PS3 versions. You can't relocate teams, but you can create your own. 11-4 over Buffalo. Nice. I'm sure there'd be a lot of kids out there relocating the Phoenix Coyotes or the Arizona Coyotes. Relocating them to Toronto or something like that or Quebec City. Yeah, well I'm going to relocate the Toronto Maple Leafs to Bumble... Bumble Suck, Missouri. Not like there's a town called that. Relocate them to Mexico. See? See, we love our maple leaves. Oh, shoot. Okay, we play St. Louis again. I was yapping away and not realizing we had St. Louis, so I can check their record. Although they are division rivals, so we see them quite a bit. And they're doing very, very well. How come they haven't played that many games? So we're probably going to get some low picks. Wow, we are on a super pace this season. And just as I notice that, we lose. <laughs> Good job. But still, only 7 losses in 38 games. Crazy. Nothing can stop the Colorado Juggernaut. I guess losing Yasu wasn't so bad after all. We're winning some tight games, too. Ah, you damn scout. Go to Finland. Thank you. One week's enough for Finland. Okay. Nice! Another shutout. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy there's no trade offers. I don't need that slowing down my simulation, which is already plenty slow enough. Hey, do you want this crappy player for two garbage prospects? No! Hey, do you want our third and some crappy player for your second and some garbage prospects? No! Leave me alone! Vancouver. Doing pretty well. Calgary, I don't know. Well, they shut us out. Stupid Canucks. Probably Matt Duchesne scoring like five goals. Like, hey, remember me, guys? Well, I don't remember a lot of you because it looks like there's been a huge amount of turnaround on Colorado. I remember you, McDavid. Wait, no. I don't remember you, McDavid. I remember you, McKinnon. I beat you out for the heart trophy that one year. 
<laughs> I still need to find that, like, mix of first-liners who's gonna get hundreds of points every year. McDavid can do it, I just need to find some wingers who can do it, too. I mean, Landis Cog was doing it fine, but I don't know. I haven't really seen his name recently on the league leaders and points. But he did do a good job for us. But we couldn't really afford to keep him. Oh, come on. We're just struggling along in January here. Why can't we peak in June? Or May? <laughs> Three losses in a row? Two shutouts in a row. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Start scoring. Start scoring or else. We've been shut out three times this month. That's unacceptable. Patrick Waugh, get your troops in line. Washington. That's better. We get the shutout. Ha ha ha. Pittsburgh. Malkin retired, I think. But is Crosby still playing? Woo, they don't look good. So by 2024, Pittsburgh will be a bad team. <laughs> Fantastic. Nashville. Nashville's not doing great. Alright, three game win streak. At least. No, three game win streak. Okay, just did Russia. Anyone there? <gasps> There's a forward in the rest of the world! I don't believe it! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I'm gonna go into the draft and see who that is. I have to remember. Rest of the world player. I'm gonna draft him. <laughs> ah, Gaston guy. Who the hell is Gaston guy? Caston Gway. So like Caston and Tange. Custom gay. 6 2 lost to Dallas. That must have been my backup goalie. Ah! Uh. Wait, will it give me a list of who I've. Drafted in here or scouted in here? No, I guess not. Okay, uh, this one. One week. I don't care. No, I don't want casting guy. Casting guy. St. Louis still doing really well. But I think we've swept them this year so far. Oh! Shootout loss. What about Winnipeg? Winnipeg's doing good. Oh! Four losses in a row. Ugh. No good, guys. That'd be cool if we got two more OTLs. It'd be 41144. Maybe it might happen. <laughs> I said it'd be cool, just, you know. You don't have to do it. It's not a suggestion. Just saying, is all. Okay, well, too bad. 
if we lose our next game, we'll have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in our record. That would be cool. I'm not saying you have to. <laughs> Hey, it happened! One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now start winning. <laughs> this is like a complete copy of last year. I mean, up to 30 games, 30, 35 games or so, we were just rocking it, and now we're just sucking. That's better. Okay, uh, we just did Germany. This one. Okay, Nashville. You know, just because I haven't made a trade at the trade deadline in a long time doesn't mean I won't. You don't start getting your poop together. But we already have 91 points. That's really good. That'll make the playoffs a lot of years, so... Good show. Alright, Vancouver. No! <laughs> So back to the WHL. Defenseman for two weeks. Hufu and Viveros. No. No. No way. My defense is good. Yes. Okay, let's back out for a second. Check out Stat Central. Ah, looks like Winnipeg picked it up and St. Louis started going bad a little bit. 75 points for Connor McDavid. That's good. What about Orlando whatever his name is? Orlando Drury. Nice. He's over a point per game. That's what I wanted. McKinnon's still doing really well, but... Uh, I don't know. Korolev and Lavali. Korolev's doing better than Lavali. I need to get rid of one of them. Probably. Shovel Dave is not doing great, but... Looks like a pretty good shooter. Okay, well, uh, let's check out our goalie. Belfour. Wow! Those some good stats. Shane Belfour. Well, it's not son of Belfour. That's too bad. Okay, uh... All skaters, let's see... Tire League. Damn you, Stamkos! Damn you, Duchesne! <laughs> Whoa, he... Well, I guess he was always at 90, wasn't he? David Druin. Wow, Druin. He's just always so damn good. All centers here. Drury's like the first winger who's there. That's good. Wow, Taylor Hall's doing well. He was injured. How much is he making? That's that's a lot of cottage cheese. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's been going on in the trade field here. Updates. Brendan Gallagher and Ben Chariot. Michael Barteco for ah Cam oh, wait. Cam Fowler, okay. Andre Makarov from San Jose. Joe Morrow from Boston. 
Law, Green Tree, and Sproul from Montreal. Montreal acquired a first round pick in Mar Peter Mrazek. Detroit got Jonathan Bernier. Okay. Michael Stone from Arizona for a couple of thirds and Zipatitasisa. All right, cool. Now let's end the season. Go to the playoffs. If we can ever get there. Okay, Tampa. Tampa's fallen down a bit, but they're still good. Six to four, yeah. Frickin' Stamkos and Druin. I wonder how they're gonna evaluate Druin next year. I mean, in 14 and 15, he turns out to be a monster, but I don't know. I don't know if his first season is showing that much pro as much promise as the game turns out. Although I'm not really paying that much attention. Okay, only one loss so far this month. That's good. Probably be in about 55 win range, which is about the same as last year. 7-6. Hey now. Okay, don't lose to Toronto. Even though we're away. Yay! Six goals. A lot of scoring lately. I wonder how Son of Belfour's goals against average is doing. Son of Belfour, you must listen to Elder Belfour. Okay, Anaheim. Ooh, Anaheim sucks. Wow, that's a great score. Six nothing. <laughs> Chicago. Carolina. And this time I'm gonna stick with my goalie. I'm not gonna trade him away like I did with uh, that other dude, Subban. Shootout loss to Carolina? Boo! I could still get 60 wins, I just can only lose two more games. And win eight. Okay, win eight and lose one. <laughs> Arizona's not doing well this year. Hopefully we won't meet them in the playoffs. Maybe it'll be our first round opponent actually. Ugh, no. They are our first round opponent. Then I'm gonna have to then PETA is not gonna like what I do to them. They're gonna need to call the ASPCA. Okay, I just did OHL, now QMJHL, which has quite a lot of defensemen. Three weeks, one quarter of the season. Looks like I won't be able to scout all of Europe, but who cares? I'd rather be more sure of our North American prospects than our European ones. 4-3 win, yay. Okay, let's just try not to hit 20 regulation losses. Good. 
right now we have 113 points, which is pretty damn good. We might win our, like, fifth President's Trophy in six years. It could happen. If not for the coyotes! Stop saving! Shootout loss, okay. Fine with me. Beat St. Louis. Yay! Okay, Chicago's not doing well. Hey, they lost uh, John Nathan Taves, so... Or me I don't know. I wonder where he went. I should check. All right, beat Minnesota. And LA win or OTL. Yay! All right, that's pretty good record. 120 points. Should be good for first overall in the AHL, I would think. Oh, St. Louis went back up to second in the central. 99 points for McDavid. Boo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! We get Arizona in the first round. This is not going to end well. Oh man, entirely. Yay, we get the President's Trophy. Where's Buffalo? Okay, there. Still pretty high. Oh, uh, who's last? New York Islanders. Wow, Pittsburgh sucks. Did, was McDavid injured or something? Is that why he didn't hit 100? He was well on pace to. Maybe he was just so slow year for scoring. No, he played every game. Drury got more than a point per game. That's great. Shovel Dave picked it up a little bit. Lavely and Korolev were kind of meh. Griffith. Yeah. My elite defender. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, let's go entire league. Let's see. Stamkos and Druin again! Damn them! At least we beat Duchesne. Haha, <laughs> douche. Everly finished strong. Uh, let's see goalies. Sort by Gah. Markstrom. Oh, Needlevit. Oh, he's probably going to win the Vezina. But I'm keeping Belfour. Belfour played a lot more games, though. It's cross guy. Good for Vancouver. Lots. Huh. Stupid Watts. He didn't turn out at all. McQuaid. McQuaid played a lot. What about that other guy that I gave them? Malcolm Subban. Doing okay for the Flames. Who's that other? Dennis Lowe. Gave that guy up too. Gave up Picard. Man, I gave up a lot of goalies who turned out to be starters. Rawlings didn't play great. Okay, so let me go do this for a second. Sort by name. Can I scroll down faster? I guess not. Wakabayashi. Oh, he signed with Dallas. 49 points. That's not bad. Wow, Toffoli did well. I was thinking of picking up him up earlier, but... You know what? Orlando 
What the hell's his name again? Orlando something. I have to remember my top right winger's name. Orlando Drury! Yes. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go face the freaking coyotes in round number one. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oops. Wait. Cancel. Calendar. No! Not the coyotes! Anyone but the coyotes! Uh, we're gonna lose this series, aren't we? They just have our number for some reason. Alright, up one nothing. Up two nothing. The coyotes are like our Chicago Blackhawks to the Vancouver Canucks. Oh no, they won a game. Oh, you damn scout. Leave me alone. Just go places by yourself. Go around the world and look at everybody, you dumbass. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. This is what we had last time, though. <laughs> oh, good, we finished them off. Oh, man. No more coyotes. Finally got by the coyotes. Now we can go on to the Stanley Cup. Maybe. <laughs> I hope! Okay, so that was two weeks in the USA. Not a lot of defensemen in Sweden. That's fine. Okay, uh... Let's... Oh wait, let me just simulate until I see who my next round opponent is. Probably just up to this day, maybe. Winnipeg! Winnipeg. Let's see. Playoff tree first. <clears throat> okay, so Canada's well represented in our final eight. Ottawa, Edmonton, and Winnipeg. And then Columbus and Florida. Okay, Florida's actually in the playoffs. And... Oh wait, Buffalo lost. And St. Louis lost. That's good. They lost in the first round. So my pick should be high teens, low 20s. That's good. Okay, let's see our stats through one round. McDavid's tearing it up. Shovel Dave is doing well. Drury's a little bit down there, but that's okay. He'll probably pick it up in the next round. Oops. No. Uh, let's see my goalie. Well, he is a rookie, so. Wow! Nice! Nice numbers. Okay. Right. Let me just do something really quickly. Oh, I can do this? Oh, I never knew that. Markov. Sixth, seventh round. <laughs> okay. Bunch of top fives. Can I see what league they're in? Oh. Okay, well then just look at some Canadian guys. A lot of QMJHL forwards, so... 
probably go back and scout there again. Okay, well, that's nice. Nice that I found that out ten years through. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Okay. So let's take on the Winnipeg Jets. Surely you Jets. Let's see, what was their record going in? Okay, so they're four and three now. So game one, we won game two. One game three. Alright, things are going well. Just do that. Okay, game four in Winnipeg. Yes! Goodbye, Jets! And Canada has one less opportunity at a Stanley Cup. Ah, oh, let's knock out another Canadian team. The Oilers! <laughs> I wonder if the Senators advanced. Okay, let's see our stats here. Player stats. McKinnon, Korolev. Korolev's doing well. He's the older one, though. Lavalli. Huh. Drury's not really doing great. I don't know why. McDavid's not doing great. It's like our it's, our second line is doing really well, but our first line hasn't really been doing much. Okay, let's see the playoff tree now. Ottawa and Columbus. Ugh. From the point of view of today, that's a pretty disgusting Eastern final. Sorry to people in Ottawa and Columbus. Okay, Edmonton. I'm going to lose this series just for that, aren't I? Okay, good. Win. 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 Oh, loss. Let me do OHL. Wait, are there any leagues with a lot of defensemen? Nine and five. Okay, good. Win and win. Yay. Goodbye, Edmund. Oh, rematch, huh? Rematch. Rematch of Ottawa and Colorado from when we actually won the cup. Oops. Uh, well, let me just go to the whole scout thingy. Scouted players. Wait. I'm not in the right thing, am I? They're all top six forwards, I guess. How did I do that before? <laughs> Where was, like, the... Wasn't there... Like, potential or something? Like it listed top something or other. Wow, Sutter is elite sniper. Let's see. No, not this 
idiot. Interesting. Reginald Sutter. Ah, whatever. I don't care. Was it here? Ah, whatever. Okay, let's check out our stats. Let's check out Ottawa's stats. Okay, McDavid tore it up. Good. So did Drury. So looks like our first line is coming up a little bit. Okay, Ottawa Senators. Eric Carlson is playing well. Team Bill. Tarasenko. Okay, what about... Who's in, who's in net for Ottawa? Steve Mason. Looks like they're sharing duties, but Laner's a better goalie. How's uh, Son of Belfort doing? Whoops, no. Colorado. Kokkinen played a game for some reason. Belfort's doing well. Shane Belfort. Okay, let's go to the finals. Can we dash Canada's team, which is the Ottawa Senators, apparently? Can we dash their hopes of bringing the cup home? I don't know, I have to go scout. Uh, let's see... Russia, then. Oh, 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare, Colorado. Don't you dare lose to Ottawa. You're a much better team. Don't you freaking dare. 15-5. Yay! <laughs> you son of a bitch! You... You little ne'er-do-well Colorado. Giving me a heart attack like that. Ninety-three million cap. Is it just me or that like way up from last year? I thought it was like 87 last year. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go to the WHL and scout forwards for the rest of the... for the duration of the season. Alright, we won our third Stanley Cup! <laughs> Yay! Oh. And then let's check out check out our stats and the awards. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Player stats. I'm guessing Belfour is going to win the Conn Smythe. McKinnon got in. Well, looks like some players might have gotten injured. Brown came in, but didn't really do anything. Okay, uh. Goalies. Well, he was a rookie. Crying out loud. Wow, Belfour had really good stats. He's definitely going to win the Conn Smythe. You might also win the uh, Vezina Colorado Avalanche. First time in five years. Or, I guess second time in five years. 
President's Trophy, Colorado Avalanche for the fifth time in six years, I think. And the last five years, the conference winner from the West has either been Colorado or Arizona. Arizona not winning the Stanley Cup. Almost the Buffalo Bills of the NHL, like I said before. Art Ross, Stamkos, Hart, Stamkos. Norris, Carlson again. Lady Bing, Stamkos, Calder, Belfour. Yay. Con Smythe, Belfour, Vesna, Belfour. Yeah. McKenna. Okay. Luke Shen. Okay. McDavid for the third year in a row. That's nice. Okay, and then Ted Lindsay, Stamkos. And Sagan gets the Morris Richard. I wonder where Crosby's playing. Is he on Pittsburgh still? Or did he retire? It's weird that players retire so young. Let's see. Entire league. Sort by name. A bid had 57 points. Okay. Barchi's doing pretty well. Is he on Calgary? Yep. Jamie Ben. Bittner. Oh no, Bjorkstrand. No idea who that is. Okay, let's just see where Crosby is. Oh, he's not playing anymore. He retired. That's why Pittsburgh sucks so much. I guess. All right, well, anyway, that's all for the 2023-2024 season. Next time we go to the 2024 draft. See you next time.